What's up, Internet Land? Zachmus Prime, aka Zachmus Prime, here with another Transformers video review. And today, the figure that I'm taking a look at is the Studio Series Core Class Leonardo. I mean, of course, that's not really his name, but you know, if I if I if I utter it out loud, it will cause contention amongst the nerds. So, yeah, I think we can all just agree Leonardo is blue, Raphael is red. I don't think anybody really debates that. So, Leonardo. And um, so this is a, 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 a studio series, studio series, but it's like a studio series concept in that they're going through figures that were in the Bumblebee movie and they're like, wow, we're pretty much out of figures that were in the Bumblebee movie. Let's start coming up. Let's start making figures of characters that could have been in the Bumblebee movie if we decided that that was going to be in the budget to do. And they apparently had concept art for a uh, a Rumble and Frenzy, and uh, and then just never made it out. I thought I thought it would have been really cool if like you know Soundwave had like vomited out like you know three or four recorder cons instead of just one you know and we could have like optimist could have like taken a couple of them out with like cheap shots and then you know still had this like decent scuffle with uh ravage that would have been cool but yeah so here he is and he's 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 a figure i mean He's not great, but he's not, like, super awful. If I was designing him, there's a couple things I would have changed. Uh, not the least of which being is I would have <laughs> put some sort of a swivel in here. So that you could, like, swivel his joint out. And have, like, a hand detail. And then you could, like, fold this up so that you could use the hand detail. And then fold this out to be a pile driver. Because as it is, there's no hand detail. He doesn't have hands. He just has pile drivers. And like, first, second of all, he's bashing stuff with his pile drivers. His Decepticon symbols are upside down. And I think it's cool that they put them on there. But why do they put them on upside down? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. But, yeah. Let's talk about accessories. In terms of accessories, he comes with two accessories. He comes with this accessory, and he comes with this accessory. And they're tiny little... Tiny little guns. Tiny little weapons. Little weps. Can you... No, you can't. And yeah, they, they plug into his back. One of them plugs in on one side, and the other one plugs in on the other side. And they don't look symmetrical, because, of course, they're not symmetrical. They're not the same thing at all. But, like, they don't even sit in the same plane. They just kind of hang out on his back. And, I don't know. Like, like the weps that came with the Studio Series other guys, like, they were cool. Because they had, you know, wings on them. And you got the barrel sticking up, but you also have the, like, cool wings, and they're symmetrical looking, and they're just, like, really cool looking, but no, no, no. What I dig about this guy, though, is his functionality with, um, with sound. I've actually, while I'm on that thought, let's, let's talk about, he's got a cool functionality with sound wave, and he's got a shitty one. Let's talk about the shitty one first, which is... You can take these guns and you can combine them together into one gun. And you'll notice that it's got like little tiny pegs here, but it's got like a big peg as well. You can put it in his hand and he can just have a super lame looking gun. Like just pathetically small looking gun. And <laughs> yes... Yes, let's give Soundwave a pathetically small-looking gun. I'm just 100% here for that. But, yeah, let's talk about his articulation. His head is on a little ball joint. It will rotate around. 
it does not go down at all it will go up a little bit a little bit of side to side he does have this joint here and this joint here and then he's got these guys here but they're all transformation joints he does have an ab crunch like this is for transformation but they also made it so that it can like extend forward a little bit so yeah ab crunch i guess it's so that you know he can like sit here and uh, his arms are way too short for this. He can do push-ups. I bet he could do push-ups all day long, man. And that's that's his extension. He can do like wide stance push-ups. One. That's it. He's tapped out. Legs go that far forward. They go that far back. They go out. For the full Van Dam, maybe we that's even like a hundred and three percent of a Van Dam. He does have the knee swivel and the knee bend at about 90 degrees, and then he's just got this toe tilt here, and he's got little yellow paint apps on his toes, isn't that cute? But yeah, sculpt is decent. Wish he had hands. I mean, I don't know. Like, he doesn't actually need hands. What's he going to do? Hold these things? I mean, he could. And it would actually probably look better than sticking it on his back. But, like, at the same time, what's he going to do if he had hands? Basically nothing. So I guess I don't... I don't know. I just... It's just that his pile drivers are useless. And while his hands would have also been useless, like it would have been a different, a, a different kind of useless, and maybe looked a little bit better. So I'm not really complaining. I'm just kind of complaining. But yeah, let's transform him. So to transform him, you want to take his weapons off. You want to basically he folds in half. But you already knew that. You didn't come here for me to tell you that he folds in half. I feel like I'm already messing this up. Yeah, they fold around the other way. And then his legs kind of just go straight back. And now what you want to do with his legs, you see that they've got these little tabs and, and uh, whatnot on, on the inside of his legs. You want to take and plug these guys in right in between his legs. Just like that. Like with the handles going in opposite ways. And then sandwich them in between his legs. And then these just tuck in like so. And there you have Leonardo in his box mode he is a box and all he does is a box is you can open up Soundwave here and you can shove him in Soundwave's chest that's it that's what he does and you know what that's pretty fun it's fun for all the same reasons why Ravage turning into a box was fun because he turns into a box and he fits in the chest. And uh, yeah, I, I dig it. Hopefully we'll get a, a, a Raphael. You know, I think that'd be cool. Um, I would like to see a laser beak for it. But, you know, it's all, it's all good. We already got, you know, this little decent figure here. And this guy is like the coolest ever. Because he's a cool looking like doggo in addition to turning into a box and i dig it but yeah that's about all i got of course to eject this guy you got to do the same as ravage and did i say doggo he's not a doggo he's a kitty cat he just looks like a wolf and yeah you got to open up the back and shove him out which is why I'm sure that they made it so the back opens up. And that's all we got. So, yeah, there's this blue box guy. And that's all I have to say about that. 
Everybody, thanks for watching. If you made it all the way through the end, you are fantastic. Everybody, stay awesome and be good to each other. See ya. Bye.